In this video, we're going to talk about another set of formulas uh, for double angles. Okay, so these are the double angle formulas. So that what I mean by that is the sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, tan 2 theta. Um, so before we give you the formulas, let's just try to find them. So for instance, um, if I wanted to find sine of 2 theta, uh, I can write this, so 2 theta is theta plus theta. Okay, so then I can use the um, sum formula. So that's going to be sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta. So that simplifies to 2 sine theta times cos theta. Okay, so that is our formula for sine 2 theta. So it's 2 sine theta times cos theta. Okay, instead, if I wanted to find cos of 2 theta, we can use the same trick. So it's cos of theta plus theta. Okay, now the cosine sum formula is cosine of each of the angles. So that's going to be cos theta, cos theta, switch the sine, and then sine theta, sine theta. Okay, so that's cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, so that's how we could write the cos 2 theta, cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, now because of the squares, we could actually rewrite these. Okay, so, um, so we could take this and write it a different way. So I could replace the sine. Okay, so we know that sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. So then I could rewrite this as cos squared theta minus 1 minus cos squared theta. And that's going to be um, cos squared theta minus 1 plus cos squared theta. So it's going to be 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Okay, so you could also use that. Okay, or even a, still a different way, I could take this and instead replace the cosine. So cosine squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. So then it would be 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So that's 1 minus sine squared theta minus another sine squared theta. So it's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So you could also write it like that. Okay, so none of these use 2 times the angle. They're only just the theta. Uh, <clears throat> so you can use, so cos 2 theta is actually equivalent to all three of these. Okay, so that just because of the square and the Pythagorean identity, we can write that one multiple ways. Okay, so those are the main ones. Okay, there is one from tan. Okay, this is what it looks like for tan 2 theta. Um, I'm going to ask you to establish that identity. You want to use the same sort of trick. Okay, it's very um, short. Okay, should not take you that amount of space. Um, but let's try this secant of 2 theta one. Um, so here's the identity for secant of 2 theta. So it's secant squared theta divided by 2 minus secant squared theta. Okay, now for this one, I'm actually going to use, so the right-hand side, I don't know a formula for secant of 2 theta. I could use the cos 2 theta one, um, but I'm going to use the right-hand side. Okay, so that's secant squared theta over 2 minus secant squared theta. And what I'm going to do is just replace the secant squareds with 1 over cos squareds. Okay, so then if I want to get rid of the denominators, I could multiply the top and the bottom here by cosine squared theta. Okay, so it's going to have to go to both terms over here. Okay, that's going to give me a 1 on the top, 
and then I'm going to have 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. Okay, and now this looks familiar because that's actually one that we saw up here. Oops. Okay, this is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, so that is actually equal to cosine of 2 theta. Okay, so the denominator is cosine of 2 theta. So maybe let's just write that. So we know cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So that's one of the things. So I can replace those two. And then 1 over cosine 2 theta, that is secant of 2 theta. So that is my left-hand side. Okay, so I just uh, established that identity as well. Okay, now using this, um, so let's say that we're given cosine theta is 3 over 5, and theta is between 0 and pi by 2. So again, this means theta is in quadrant 1. Okay, so we can uh, make a triangle for theta. Okay, so if that's theta, cosine is 3 over 5, so the adjacent side is 3, or I, I can make the adjacent side 3, and the hypotenuse 5. This leftover side is going to be the square root, 5 squared minus 3 squared. Uh, I think that's actually square root of 16, or 4. Okay, so this means that sine theta, we know, is positive 4 over 5, the opposite over the adjacent. And it's positive since it's in quadrant 1. Okay, so since theta is in quadrant 1. Um, so all the trig functions are positive there. Okay, so we know sine theta. But we don't know sine of 2 theta. So sine of 2 theta is 2 times sine of theta times cos of theta. Okay, and I know each of these. So this is 2 times 4 over 5 times 3 over 5. So that's going to be uh, 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24 over 25. So this is the exact answer for sine of 2 theta. Okay, now I'm going to leave you to find cos of 2 theta. Okay, shouldn't be too challenging when given all the stuff that we've done already. Um, I think you can actually use any of the three formulas for cos 2 theta to find that. Okay, and I want to talk about example four here. So let's say we want to solve cos of 2 theta equals 2 minus 2 sine 2 theta. So there's different ways to do this. I'm actually going to do it two ways because I think, I don't know which one is more obvious. Um, so I want to solve this. So I want to isolate the trig functions, which is hard to do because they're different and they're even different angles. Okay, so I would like them to be the same angle. Um, so I could say, well, cos, so the, the um, right hand side, I could actually write it as 1 plus 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Okay, now why did I want to write it like that? So all I did was break up the 2 into 1 plus 1. Okay, why did I want to write it like that? Well, because 1 minus 2 sine, squ sine squared theta was one of the formulas for cos of 2 theta. Okay, and now if I subtract cos 2 theta on both sides, I actually get 0 equals 1. So this is going to have no solutions. Okay, so that, that one, that's one, one way. Um, so another way you could have done. Um, well, there's lots of ways. 
maybe I'll do this one in green. Okay, so or um, we could have factored out the two. So then it would be two times one minus sine squared theta. One minus sine squared theta I know is um, cos squared theta. Okay, and then uh, if I replace cos 2 theta, um, so remember it is uh, one of the things that we just used here is cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Okay, so this is 2 cos squared theta minus 1 equals 2 cos squared theta. Okay, now if I subtract those on both sides, they're actually going to disappear. And I'm going to get negative 1 equals 0. Okay, so again, something that doesn't make sense. Um, so I would say no solutions here. Okay, so there's no thetas that make these two sides equal. Okay, there's other ways you could do this as well. Um, so it's, it's up to you uh, how how to approach it. Okay, I just wanted to show you two because I, I wasn't sure which one is more obvious. The blue way is a little bit shorter because I only have to substitute one identity, but I think it maybe isn't as easy to, to notice to break up that first two as one plus one. Okay, so anyway, there's two different ways for you and there's certainly more because cos two theta has so many different ways. Um, Okay, I'm going to leave example five for you. We've actually done things sort of similar, except without the two theta here. Um, so just to give you a, a starting point, you want to break this up using the formula. And then you're going to want to move everything to one side and factor. Okay, and then solve your equations. Um, but I'll leave you to think about that. And it will be done in a subsequent video.